Hello, how the tech are you? This is our weekly tech show on Echoplex Media. We talk about tech news, science news, anything related that we feel like talking about. I am historian Matt. Uh, I've been talking a lot about AI and more recently, like, you know, security, digital security stuff. And today is not going to be different. I'm going to talk about an online heist that netted $22,000. Now that uh, doesn't sound that much in the grand scheme of things, but the ways to is kind of uh, unique. So we'll talk a little bit about all that. Uh, HK is still on an adventure. One of these days he'll make it back, but he's been uh, pretty busy. So uh, Dave, what do you got? Hi, I'm Dave. I'm the producer of this and all the shows on Echoplex Media. And I have two stories today. I have uh, one Elon trying to avoid questions in an autopilot lawsuit by saying some of the things he said before might have been deep fakes. And then I have uh, the dumbest item I've ever seen in my life, and I will uh, wait until I show it to everybody to tell everybody what the <laughs> dumbest item I've seen in my entire life is. That's right. So my, my one and only story, the online heist that netted $22,000 uh, in value, I should say, is not directly $22,000. And what is this heist I'm talking about? It's actually uh, in EVE Online, which is a... So EVE Online is a space-based MMO game. That's a massively multiplayer online game. Uh, it's one that I play. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who I am because I don't want people coming over and killing me and destroying my stuff. But uh, it's, been, uh, it's known for having like a, an advanced in-game economy where people, players can buy stuff, sell stuff, build things. Uh, it's, you know, economists have been studying it for years. It's been around for a long time, about 20 years. And it's also known for its sort of libertarian type politics. It's what I like to tell people. It's a, the game is a libertarian dystopia <laughs> made it real. The only way it works is you're kind of immortal. But anyways, that's beside the point. What was this heist? Basically the a user who goes by the name Flam Hill. I don't know if that's actually in game or this was an interview with him on reddit so my, i don't know exactly where the names uh are come from so but i'm going to continue to call him flam hill because that's the only name i have for him but basically he did it by taking over a corporation using a little little known game rules around corporate voting system so in eve online uh, unlike or similar to way you have guilds and other usually fantasy type games or players grouped together in, in teams called called guilds in eve it's called a corporation and it, they run a lot like real life corporations but they're there for the members to you know make money in the game so this guy he basically was able to take over a corporation uh with the voting system and i don't really want to go into the details of what exactly happened it's pretty complicated and it's not something that uh most people can do he was just kind of in a position to do this. He's been around for a long time. Uh, but in the process of basically taking over this corporation, the corporation had apparently like 130 billion ISK. ISK is the in-game currency. So 130 billion ISK in just straight up cash, basically. And it had uh, about 2 trillion ISK in game assets. So like ships and uh, probably a lot of them are like space stations and stuff. Uh, in the game so you're not supposed to sell isk that in-game currency you're not supposed to like exchange it for real money but in uh you can actually do that so there's actually like if you're secret about it and don't let the owners of the the game find out about it you can't actually exchange it for real world money so there is a known exchange rate uh this guy has a uh, flam hill has a different value for the exchange rate uh, and so he estimates the total assets that he was able to to basically steal at uh, twenty two thousand three hundred and nine dollars of you know real usd you know u.s uh, currency but um you know, before i had seen that a billion isk was selling for like 35 dollars so 35 dollars for a billion isk which would put this way more you know uh, much closer to like new car territory uh value but 
it's still pretty impressive. It's all in the game. He doesn't seem to be actually selling this for a real world, world currency. He had a political reason for doing this. He wasn't actually trying to, you know, make money doing it, um, at least not outside of the game. Uh, so, uh, technically, if he keeps it all in game, it's basically legal. You're allowed to do that sort of underhanded stuff in the game. So it's all right. But uh, what do you think, Dave? This is kind of a crazy story. I think it's a cool story. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm going to definitely take a look into like how it was done or whatever. But I don't play the game, so maybe I would have a hard time understanding how it was done. But it's uh, like a, like, a it's hostile, not like a hostile business bad. takeover, right? Uh, so what, the short answer is basically he was able to attain the voting shares in the corporation, set up a vote to make to install him as the new ceo to take over the corporation and then nobody either was able to or realized that they needed to vote <laughs> that's pretty cool that's, that's the real short answer but it's a little more complicated than basically how we got those short those those uh voting shares to begin with that's cool was there like a big hubbub in the game community about this when people found out about it uh, I mean, there's been a lot of talk about it since then. It there doesn't seem to be much like against it. Uh, it's normal gameplay. There's like underhanded tactics in the game itself. Like there's spies between corporations. Like there's all sorts of crazy stuff that happens in the game. So it wasn't like uh, against the the game. I, I don't know what you want to call it, like philosophy or something itself. Uh, but a lot of people have talked about is is a significant theft. I don't know if there's been a theft in the game of that much, uh, although there have been other big uh, uh, thefts in the, in the past, uh, different ways. But this was a pretty unique way of doing it. There have been other stuff like two really big corporations in the game got into a battle. They basically did a space battle where they had all their biggest ships go after each other, and like one day. De destroyed enough assets since you know the ships cost a certain amount of isk so you, and you can convert that to real money that it turned out like one day battle they lost literally a million dollars in like real like real usd million dollars worth of assets in the game between the two corporations in this battle that that's pretty cool yeah i don't have, i don't really have much to say about this but i figure there might be some fans of the this game that uh, check out yeah. this podcast so uh, if you have you have any uh, any interesting input about this, uh, drop it in the drop it in the comments or uh, drop it in your yeah. one star review. Oh, wrong show. Um, <laughs> well, well, now, cool. I don't know if we get many one star reviews. No, no, we we, I don't we know may if we get many reviews. <laughs> we we may we may eventually get some one star reviews. All yeah. all the podcasts uh, at this point have one. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, I guess that's that makes it my turn. Um, yep. This story, it's more of a Elon Musk shenanigans. He's trying to uh, wiggle out of answering uh, questions in a uh, in a lawsuit about autopilot by simply by saying sort of that he doesn't remember having made some statements in the past, and he's trying to suggest that maybe an AI uh, generated those statements, which is a pretty wild claim. Um, yeah, he's trying to trying to trying to avoid a deposition from what I can see here. He says he doesn't remember past claims and that some videos and audio recordings of him making some of these claims about a uh, autopilot, maybe AI generated. And uh, the judge in the case isn't really having any of that. And uh, she actually reportedly called his statements about this and his tactics uh, deeply troubling. So uh, my, my take on this is, you know, yeah, of course it's deeply troubling because if people uh, can't be held to what they said about things in the past because they claim it was AI, even though everybody knows they said it. If if that like becomes a defense in court, then we're we're in we're in for some real trouble. Yeah, I mean, if if you have like witnesses that saw you say it at the time, you know, <laughs> like you can't really call it a deep fake later. <laughs> and like everybody knows, he made false claims about the the the, the self driving. He said that yeah. like <clears throat> that the self-driving cars like with would, were more um, were safer than a human driver in fully autonomous mode. And like, right. That's not true. So, right. Um, it does not seem to be true. Right. And so he, 
I don't know. He's not going to wiggle out of this one from, you know, the article that I have. People, people should read the article. It seems like the, the court really isn't having this, like that they don't yeah. like that. The, you know, the plaintiff's attorneys are pretty mad and that the judge is, uh, judges rarely call like will publicly say that something that like the attorneys in a case are doing is troubling because they want to, you know, remain, they, they want to retain the uh, appearance of impartiality. And so they maybe after cases, they'll say stuff like that, but they certainly don't often make statements like that. And to be fair, it's reported that this is what, what the judge said. It's not like the judge tweeted at Elon, but that would be pretty funny. <laughs> right. Right. So I don't know yeah. if there's, there's much to talk about there. It's just more, just more shenanigans from this guy. Right. And well, we can't have an episode of this show without bringing up Elon Musk in some way, usually to make fun of him. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, but, this, this, I'm not really making fun of him. I mean, what he's doing here, what he did here is dumb or his attorneys are being yeah. dumb or I don't know whose idea it was to say, it sounds like an Elon idea and his attorneys are just like, well, you know, you're paying us, whatever. As long well, as I mean, we don't it get sounds this- like something he, he tried to pull the wiggle out of what he said, basically. Yeah. He's like, they're like, well, as long as this isn't going to get me disbarred, I guess we can go with this. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that for that story. There's not really much there, I don't think. Um, on to my next one. Uh, Dyson has made air purifying headphones. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and it, they look ridiculous. They just look absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah. Some of the... Some of the notes about these are that uh, it's called Zone, and it's the dumbest thing anybody ever invented. It weighs almost a pound and a half, <laughs> and using wow. the air purifying fil- feature uh, actually kills the battery for rather quickly. Uh, but at least the noise cancellation works. <laughs> Matt, what do you think <laughs> of these headphones? <laughs> do they sound any good? Does it like, or does it sound bad because there's like buzzing from the air purifier? <laughs> like, that's probably what the noise cancellation is there for, right? To get rid of the sound <laughs> yeah, from the really. air purifier. <laughs> yeah. When I first heard about this, I was just like, why? <laughs> you know, it, it's got Don't some features. That. It's got an app that goes with it because of course it does. And I'm sure, I'm sure the end user license agreement is just great on these. Um, but you know, it does some it, like one, it's, it does like measure air quality, which is, yeah. I, I guess, interesting, but, you know, you can find out what the air quality is in your area with an app that doesn't make you wear those ridiculous looking headphones. This article on the verge is pretty funny because this gal like lived with them for a week and like wore them everywhere. <laughs> 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 and some of what she, you know, some of what she was saying in the article is pretty funny. I didn't, I didn't take any poll quotes or whatever. Cause that's, it's her article, her work. And you should definitely check out the article. It's in the show notes, but I would never wear that. It, it just looks so bad. Yeah. It looks so Yeah, ugly. It looks really bat it looks like uh almost looks like a um a weird helmet or something from old like star wars or star trek like show or something or buck rogers <laughs> yeah buck rogers yeah, <laughs> yeah it's I, I i don't know it, it's bad i mean i i had a hard time finding even two stories i wanted to cover this week but i saw this one and i was like up oh, that there it is yeah uh, there it is the dumbest the dumbest thing and it's funny because usually the products that Dyson makes are good. You know, the, yeah, I mean, I, I bet it works pretty well, but <laughs> looks dumb. <laughs> well, it works pretty well, but just because it, just because it works well, doesn't mean anybody needs it. Right. I mean, if it's, that's true too. If it's, well, you know what I was thinking is, uh, I wonder if this is like for places in China where they have really bad air quality. Huh? I mean, even in California, there's, there's days where you have bad air quality. It's not, not that common. China has a lot. Um, we don't have it as much here. It happens occasionally here, but in Florida. Yeah. We do but, have quite a few uh, spare the air days in California. Yeah. I mean, I'll, cause you're in a Valley and, and you have fires, which are also a big, big issue. Yeah. I, so actually, I can see it like, but then you just stay inside. So I don't know. Yeah. I wonder now that you mentioned it, if this is more marketed towards uh, China where they have, yeah, but that's, that's bad too, because I mean, this isn't the answer to pollution. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I don't know. I mean, if somebody gave them to me, I'd wear them around for a day, but I just don't, the, the <laughs> thing about the, like the air purify, I, 
it's just it's just stupid i'm sorry yeah. even, <laughs> even even if the air is really bad this is stupid this is really dumb um i wonder if it um I wonder if it would prevent you from getting something like covid uh, maybe it, it depends on what filters are on there, but, and what well, is air purifier? So, um, probably. Huh? Well, maybe I'll buy one in case, uh, in case we have another pandemic coming along sometime <laughs> soon. Yeah. What a, what a, what a dumb item though. I mean, yeah. oh, also, uh, they're like $800. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's like. Two or three of the Dyson ball, the smaller Dyson ball vacuums. Yeah. Really, wow. real, real dumb, real dumb. But, you know, whatever. Somebody will buy them. And I, I also wonder if, like, well, uh, like you had said about uh, China or bad air. And I also wonder if this is like kind of a, if there's like a, like a test, a test item or something, or if it's like a, if they're making one for maybe industrial use at some point. Yeah. If they're like, this might not be suitable for industrial use, but they may make one at some point for use in like environments where there are, uh, you know, bad, there's bad stuff in the air and, and you have to be able to yeah. communicate with people. And this might be like some ver you may, you may end up seeing at some point, uh, some version of this being worn by uh, firefighters. No, I doubt it because, uh, it probably doesn't cover as much of your airways or something. Probably not effective as the full face mask the firefighters use. Oh yeah, you're right. Never mind. No, it's just stupid. I'm just, (laughs) I'm just trying to think, I'm just trying to think of a way this isn't stupid and I'm not able to come up with it. There might be like certain jobs where there's like a lot of dust in the air or other chemicals in the air. I don't know if it's a chemical filter that it might be useful for. It seems way expensive for something like that, but maybe. Yeah. And the the other thing is it just kills the battery. The battery dies so fast that you wouldn't really... (laughs) You wouldn't really be able to use it like for a long time at work or right. whatever. I think it's a, I don't know. It's, it's a gimmick. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe they did it to get expensive. in the news. I think it's an expensive gimmick. Yeah. To get, I don't know if specifically to get in the news, but to get attention. Yeah. To generate some kind of buzz. Well, yeah, <laughs> whatever. I guess it, yeah, I guess they sound good, but the, the, and the noise cancellation works, but like you had said, I want, you know, is the noise cancellation primarily necessary because of the noise that the air purification makes? <laughs> yeah. Who knows though? It might be fairly quiet. I mean, Dyson does make good products, so. Yeah. Not, not $800 headphones good, but. Yeah. Whatever. And I, <laughs> I guess that's a show. That was a, that was a pretty yep. quick show. You Short sweet. You want to read us out? I think I did it last week, didn't I? Um, okay, I'll read this out. Uh, thanks, everybody, <laughs> for uh, checking out How the Tech Are You. This is our weekly tech show. You can check out our other shows at echoplexmedia.com and follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash echoplexmedia, and uh, hit up eplex.store and get yourself a tinfoil hat. Um, have a great tech week.